Well, hello everyone. This will be our last episode for 2023 and today the tables are turned as I have Idelma Delmar with me. So Idelma is from Delmar Media and she is my guru and mentor in all things social media, in particular my YouTube channel. And we were looking back on 2023, you know, what, what are our takeaways from 2023? So maybe before we get into that, for those of you who don't know Idelma, Idelma, can you start with just sharing a little bit about who you are and what you do, why you do it? Yeah, for sure. Well, it's great to be here on the other side of the <laughs> table. And, uh, my name is Idelma Del Mar. I'm a video and YouTube strategist, and that means that I help in particular entrepreneurs to share their expertise their stories, their personality by using the power of video. Because I think in this uh, day and age, it's one of the most powerful tools that you have. And most entrepreneurs like to be quite shy and like step in the shadow. But sometimes it's necessary for the bigger mission that they have to grab the spotlight. So that's what I do. Indeed. And, and that is how Idelma and I got in, in touch as well. It's very much the same idea of mission and helping people be heard. Me, it was more the content side and, and Idelma's the how do you get it out there nowadays? And yeah, I would be a bit lost without you. So thank you for that. So 2023, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, the end of the year. It's always a good time to look back. So what are your thoughts looking back on 2023 and, and why is it important to have a look back at what's been happening in the last year? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was thinking about that quite a lot, actually, because, I mean, I'm very much about not staying stuck in the past, right, and about looking forward, etc. However, lots of people, I think, perhaps a bit like me, we just sort of run into other things, etc. And the past does teach us a lot, right? So, you know, we know how we started out the year, a year ago, and what we'd committed to doing. And I think it is important to look back and see, okay, you know, first of all, what have we achieved, because a lot of us are quick to, you know, be angry with ourselves about all the things that we'd said we would do that we haven't done. However, when you really make a list of, okay, what did I achieve in 2023? Then, you know, you do realize you did a lot more than you thought. And also, I suppose the things that you didn't achieve, what did they teach you? Because nothing was for nothing, right? So the first reason I would say why it's important is to actually celebrate and realize what you have achieved and take the lessons firmly from what you haven't. Because otherwise you start the year feeling small and incapable, and that's not really the right mindset for the year to come. Secondly, I think it is also to look at where you're going. I don't know if you know Stephen Covey. I used to do a lot of studying for coaching. He says you can climb the, the ladder and that's great. But are you sure the ladder is against the right house? So it's first of all, okay, you might have a whole bunch of goals, but are they still the goals needed for the direction that you're going? Not meaning that we switch left and right, but we do realign. I realize that if I look at the sort of goals that I have, for 2024 compared to a few years ago, it is a lot more about serving others. It is a lot more about taking myself out of the equation. So we do realign what is important for us. So that's the right thing is to look if we are going in the right direction. And the third thing, which is, I think, really a, a big thing for me is because it gives you gratitude because whatever you lived that year, you know, first of all, you've survived. You would have gone through a whole bunch of stuff. You will have loved, you will have hurt, you will have laughed, you will have been mad for all those things. It means that we have been alive and we have been able to have those experiences. So another reason I find for looking back is gratitude. And the more I advance in ripe old age and wisdom, the more I do believe that gratitude is basically the secret to success and to happiness. Mm -hmm. But so, okay, if you're asking me about mine, 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 yeah, I'm curious. sorry, I got, I got stuck in the rest. So yeah, my first reaction would be to talk about the biggest one, but that happened at the end of the year. So I shall first move back from that. A lot to be grateful for, a lot of trips as always, and in particular Thailand. So that was the highlight of this year, which was absolutely amazing. So that's a big takeaway from 2023. I also moved. I even forgot that when I was trying to make a list for myself of things yeah. I'd done in 2023. I moved, which isn't just the fact of moving, even though it was my 25th 
move. Though the last three were within the Netherlands. It's also, I mean, I committed. So this is something that I bought with my new partner who used to be a, a friend from high school years and years ago. But it's not just so much that we met again. It's also because I did a very long journey on what I was looking for in a man. And whereas at first I thought, you know, this was never going to work. It was great fun, etc. I changed completely in what was important for me, for the partner, for the, the next, you know, 20, 30, who knows, years. I was glad to add it to the list. So not alone the move, but the, the personal growth that I went through in order to commit and wholeheartedly and with a lot of joy to this new relationship. I was thinking business-wise, though I believe it was this year that I launched the YouTube channel, wasn't it, Idelma? I think yeah. so, right? So that was also, it was to celebrate my 100th podcast episode yeah. that we did that. And I'm so grateful and I couldn't have done it without you. And for me, it's also, let alone business-wise and fulfilling my mandate to help people be heard, it is also the fact that I was standing you know going out there little by little first I had to get used to the sound of my voice on podcast and then to see myself on YouTube channel so that I count as uh, an achievement a big one for me and not an easy one is trusting and not wanting to fix everything in particular with my children you know I'm a coach so I mean when I hear somebody with a problem there's like two seconds of commiseration and then I go into solution mode immediately which mm -hmm. is not what is needed and which is often arrogant because that's not what I'm being asked for so that was a big learning point for 23 nice. and then of course the the most important in a way last is that this final serious breakthrough on me stepping out outside my comfort zone investing a large sum of money and borrowing which is something I would never have done changing my money mindset from oh I don't care about money you know I'm a free spirit money means commitment etc to realizing that that is absolutely rubbish and to really fully embrace the idea of unlimited abundance of success and and that for me has been the biggest breakthrough of 2023 and something that I've been working on for wow. at least 30 years I would say yeah amazing I mean we want to hear all about this new developments in your life and I think what's interesting in your story and also looking back at the year I think we often take things for granted, even like the little achievements or the big achievements. And you had the big achievements, like buying a house. That's a big achievement. I with your partner. Yeah. And, then you and I almost missed it, it on the list. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it's good to take that time to just look back at things yeah. and start really appreciating and what it also means. I mean, eh, you talk about what it means. It's commitment for a long-term relationship with yeah. your current partner. That's beautiful. But in the rush of things, yeah, yeah. we tend to go quickly to the next uh, goal or the next thing exactly. to work on. So, yeah, absolutely beautiful. And yes, I'm very curious because lately I've been seeing you more active on social media than ever before. I mean, I think all the listeners and all the viewers know you from your beautiful pictures and all those trips that you take <laughs> all year mm. around. But now it's different. It seems like yes. with, with more purpose, also the writing, it's like you thought about it longer. What is this all about? Can you explain us a little bit more? You worded it really well because it's somehow given me a reason and a purpose to combine everything that I do in the social media. And I know, you know, you and lots of other people have been saying it's great all that you do. But, you know, if nobody knows what you do and if you're not out there, but I've always been very reluctant social media wise I mean I used to jokingly call it you know digital prostitution and say I didn't need that but I think I was hiding behind that because I was insecure mm -hmm. about it like lots of people insecure about really putting yourself out there because the more you put yourself out there you know more people will make comments or criticize you or yeah. people around you might be a bit like what on earth is she doing now and it is a fine line so yes I have joined a business and I won't you know there's no point Quoting it, it is an affiliate marketing business. So I am selling. Well, I much prefer the idea that we're serving because I'm selling a product that I believe in very much and which is all about health and wellness. I do very much believe is something that I need to share with people because it can change their lives like it's changed mine and many others. And because it is digital marketing, it is all online. The beauty of it is that it's not really about 
selling. It's just about showing up as who you are with the good and the bad, et cetera, and just showing what you do with the idea of potentially inspiring other people. I don't know if your question is more about what exactly it is or why I'm now more outspoken on social media. Well, both, but both. more about what is it exactly? Because it's still like, yes, I know, more general, <laughs> like mysterious. Like it sounds very interesting, but I still have no clue what it well, is. I am glad you asked that because I have had that comment, you know, a bit like, well, you're talking about freedom, you're talking about water, you're talking about you know, <laughs> what exactly is it that you do? So it is indeed affiliate marketing. It's a combination of a company which is called Enagic, which is a Japanese uh, company which has existed for 50 years and which sells water machines. We're not talking about a Brita water filter. We're talking about the Rolls Royce of water machines. Kangen, Kangen water, it actually means back to nature. So back to water's original state. So imagine a water which has traveled over minerals, which has received lightning on lakes, etc. It's very much an alive water. And of course, in our societies, well, first of all, we're in Holland lucky to be able to even drink the water out the tap, but the water has lost a lot of its initial qualities through, you know, having to be treated because it's used again and again. It has to travel through pipes, which are sometimes rusty, etc. So we're not even talking about the quality of the water being bad. But it's not particularly good. So with their water, what I sell are these uh, Kangen K8 water machines. It's a water ionizer. So it basically uses a chemical process, not a chemical product, in order to ionize the water. So that means it's uh, hydrogen enriched. It, it takes out, obviously, what it's got to take out. And this is, we're talking about state of the art, right? This isn't a little machine. This is high tech, high tech, big Rolls Royce. It speaks five languages. You can create four different sorts of drinking water. The idea is it's, they, they use the words planet, people, profit. So it's also, it's good for the planet because you can technically, if you use it properly, create also acidic water, which you can use for your entire household. So from cleaning your windows to degreasing your oven to whatsoever, there's a beauty water, the pH six. It's because it's that's the closest to your skin pH. Basically, you can change the pH of the machine. So it does. That, they have a booklet called 68 Usages. Right, I'm not exactly ready yet to say all of that, but it's mainly the drinking water. So you can increase the pH that detoxes your body. There's all the other sorts of water on the menu. You use you no know, pesticides anymore in your house. I mean, there are people who even use it as detergent etc and the whole concept I guess what really made me enthusiastic about it is that the idea is that you give your body the best chance to fight with whatever it's got so it's been used for the last 25 years in hospitals in Japan mostly also in cancer wards it doesn't cure from cancer just like it doesn't cure from any illness but what it does is it removes uh, the toxins and the free radicals which means that your body can just focus on healing what it does best. So basically, it's three products, the water machine, uh, a shower filter, which also puts in minerals, you know, like in a hot spring in Japan. And there's also wild turmeric, which is uh, an antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. So those are the products which I sell either one-on-one -on -one or through this whole platform, which is called the Freedom Era, we then invite other people to step in. And, and the main goal is finance. It has an absolutely incredible compensation uh, system. It's very Japanese from that point of view. So they have a 500 year vision. And when you reach a certain amount of, of sell, sales, you actually get to what's called the legacy income, where you literally get 5,000 euros a month for the rest of your life, which is donatable to your children. So it's all about creating profit for yourself in a very value uh, based way. And the platform itself is just, you know what it's like when you get together with a group of, well, in my case, women, and you're all aligned, you know, there's that same mix of mm. fun, but also spirituality, alignedness, you know, you want to do good stuff for the world. And, and they then have also the money mindset, which was what was missing for me. And which is, in effect, the reason why I got in They They have this like special offer where you could go in and have a look at this platform for 50 euros a month. And if you didn't like it after two weeks, they would give you your money back. So I thought, well, you know, what do I have to lose? And while I was scrolling through all the different educational things, I fell on the whole money mindset part. And that is what changed everything. Basically, it's a mixture of the product and the platform. So that's what I'm doing, basically. I am selling water and other things and inspiring other women to also 
really dream big. Yeah. So it's the product that seems to have a lot of advantages and, and right. health benefits. Yes. From what I'm hearing, it's the platform that gives you opportunities to yeah. also start earning money uh, by promoting the product, I guess. Yeah. And it's a community. You mentioned something about, you know, finding... It's a real community. People. Yeah, it is a real community. So we're all aligned behind this product. Basically, there's two things. There's the company, Enagic, which creates these products. And there's a platform called the Freedom Era. The company's existed for 50 years this year. And the platform's existed for now four years. They're people who started selling the product, loved it, and then thought, you know, most people don't want to have to go through all that we've had to go through so it's all about duplication so you can use everything they've created and automation so you don't actually do any sales at all all you do is say to people you know if you're interested and you are looking for more freedom or more money or everything come and have a look within the platform and then it's up to people to make their own choice of course and that sits good with me okay. but indeed it is a community so we're talking about people all over the world so they're huge in, in japan obviously australia the us etc and it took a, a while for them to get the medical grade status because it does have a medical grade, the machine and the water. Mm -hmm. So in the States, I think it started a few years back, maybe 10 years back. And now you've got big names like George Clooney, Obama, Oprah Winfrey, lots of athletes. They swear by this Kangen water, which is great, but I'm never 100 percent always convinced by that. But however, I have lately come across two women in a networking environment that I know who actually both bought the machine seven Seven years ago when I didn't even know it existed oh. one of which I would never have imagined would have had the money to finance this and she actually said she had to hesitate choose between a car a car had broken down and the Kangen but she had I think it was for fibrosis or so she said and so she decided that she could get a car anytime and that's basically what switched for me I thought okay if normal people too are saying this machine has radically changed my life then, you know, this really is the combination of all I want. And the, the community is lovely. We have Monday huddles all over the world. People come in and tell us what's worked, what hasn't worked. They support each other. You can ask questions the whole time. You know, how does this work? How does that work? And everybody's there for you. So it is, yeah, it's, it's all the things that I find are important and which I've been missing, I guess. Yeah, I can imagine it's a perfect, perfect yeah. match with who you are and the interest that you have also the international yeah. community because you like to travel yes. a lot yes. all of a sudden you have yes. connections in Japan or whatever exactly exactly and also like minded because in, in real life it's quite hard to find people who are optimistic and yeah. big and who also take action because uh, exactly it's nice to get inspired but it's better to take action and show what's exactly up. And they are very much a can do. And of course, a lot of people are a lot younger. I mean, there are, there are girls of 23 or what's where have already made an, a fortune on here, but they're all so nice and likable and they come back and they share their fears and their hesitations of what worked for them. It's all really like a whole wave of people dedicated to wanting to have more wealth in order to do good stuff to have an impact etc and I yeah I love it I must admit I am very inspired and thankfully so because it is still taking me big time outside my comfort zone so it mm -hmm. is great to have this community which does have your back and and help you overcome the various hurdles that you do come across yeah yeah wow um I know you've been approached by similar companies in the past so what are the main differences or what made you decide now to take this to the next level and to start working with this product? Right. Well, then now I can answer very clearly because I know exactly when it was. It was basically in, in October. I had no September. I had a, a wonderful month. I'd volunteered to help somebody I admire very much organize a conference in Amsterdam. I loved it. I learned a lot. It was fantastic for me to be part of this, etc. And at the end of the month, I had earned 135 euros from my company. Mm. And it really hit hard. And I thought, you know, this has got to change. You actually, Idelma, two years ago, I remember we had a coaching session and you had asked me to work out from all the various things that I do, my source of income. And I came to the incredible 70% of what I did was for free because I follow my passion. 
and I just do stuff because they make me feel good because I feel purposeful and that for me is a lot more important than money but at the end of the day it's not because there is no freedom without financial freedom and so basically this month this September month arrived at the same time as somebody that I like know and trust who's been trying to convince me for years to do more to strategize my business better to do stuff online she said look I've got a two-day free masterclass it's also about online and earning and all of that and I thought okay you know at this point yes I'm prepared to listen and I did and when I found out on day two that it was about selling I felt a bit betrayed I felt a bit like oh you know I didn't know it was about selling but by then I'd been hooked by the community and why these women were doing it and at first I thought this is too good to be true because the compensation scheme is really really good that is also partially why the machines are so expensive but it's all about valorizing the people around and, and the, the founder of this Enagic really does want a, a water revolution around the world better health and wellness so he's prepared to have this army of us who are totally dedicated to the cause go out there and do it so it was basically the timing was perfect I think that's why this one plus indeed the fact that everything was aligned I liked the company. I do a lot with Japanese company. I'm a Buddhist from a Japanese branch, Nishiren Buddhism. I'm a big believer in Ikigai, which is also something that I work for, you know, the purpose basically. So that on the one hand, the, the three products, I'm a water girl, as you know, and most of the people know I love water. I throw myself in the freezing cold water every day. So there was that health benefit side of it. And it all just seemed, you know, the planet is giving back, it's stopping pollution, it's stopping plastic. So it was literally all aligned. And then this community of like-minded women of all ages, you know, religions, nationalities, but all with this common desire to serve but without this time forgetting about yourself, because the desire to serve has always been strong for me. Mm -hmm. But somehow my, you know, deserving to actually earn money on it was the bit that was missing. So that's how it was, a combination of the right products, the right platform and the right business model at the right time. Yeah. Wow. So also like a moment that that's, you were really faced with the facts, like, okay, I yeah. had this wonderful month and I did something I really loved. And, and I know the events you talked about because I was yeah, there and I saw you were shining <laughs> and you were, oh, oh, yeah, enjoying yourself to the fullest. But then at the end of the month, realizing, well, this has been a great month, but financially wise, yeah. it's been a really bad yeah. month. Wow, I have to put so much energy and love and everything into this, making this happening. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and it also reminds me of the quote, what people always say, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. So True. it all had to align to that moment yeah. to make you more open for yeah. something different, a way of thinking. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. what it was. And that for me has been really very momentous for 2023. Yeah. And I'm also curious because we've known each other for a couple of years and we've spoken about money mindset and about being a business owner and all those things. So why is it at this, at this stage so important for you to have a serious look at your money mindset? And why do you think money mindset can have such a big influence on the rest of your life? What has changed on that perspective? Well, I always knew there must be something in my money mindset which wasn't right for the fact that I wasn't receiving, right? I was working very hard, but somehow the money wasn't coming. I've worked on my money mindset so many times with coaches, alone, with self-development. And I knew that I had a problem there. It was a bit distasteful. Money was vulgar, that sort of thing. But actually, when I started really working on the money mindset, it actually looked more like I was actually frightened of success in money wise rather than failure I think I was scared that if I really did you know earn the sort of money I knew I could mm -hmm. that maybe I wouldn't be the same person that maybe it would change me maybe it would change outlook on life maybe how people look at me would change maybe they would love me less it was all that sort of stuff now the importance of the money mindset for me is a no-brainer I would say that 80 percent at least 
is is your mindset because i mean i have fantastic ideas i have fantastic things that i've thought of in order to help you know the world and that all works wonderfully it's just i'm not asking for money nor receiving money for it or it's just like a vague mention sort of well you know if you want to pay me great you know i could use it but otherwise you know let's do it because it's good for you and i it really got to the point where i realized that it's not just that it's also me holding myself small it's also me still at 50 six sewing a little bit like but, but do I really deserve to earn money am I really good enough you know mm -hmm. is what I do really worth asking money for and I mean it's everything your money mindset I believe that when we truly believe in something we'll do everything we're, we're very much belief-based human beings when we believe and truly believe with all our being you know our values not not just our mind but also our heart our soul that gut feeling that it's right then you do move forward. And I had to move mountains because, well, you know me, because my money mindset being what it was, my money bank account <laughs> was also aligned with my scarcity money mindset. And sometimes I would have great months because, of course, I do have great clients, but that wasn't always. So there were months when you you didn't. And so what also pushed me was, well, first of all, I am 56. I don't have any saving pots. Corona was a big wake up call, as in I live from my incredible energy, sort of balancing all the balls in the air, etc. But what if my health, what, what if I didn't have that energy, then what? Plus also the idea that I'd like to do more, first of all, for my children, you know, to really be there for them. I'd like to leave them something which can help them. I mean, my parents have helped me out countless times. I would like to be able to do that for my children, but also just because I'm a generous person. For years, I've been dreaming of having a big party where I bring people that I know from all around the world together and also all the causes that I believe in. Sure, I speak out about them, but wouldn't it be wonderful if I could actually make serious impact so by using the money, so it's not so much that money is bad or evil. Money is nothing. Money is neutral. It's what we do with it that matters. And that for me was the big thing was yeah. that, yes, yes, I do want to attract money by, by doing what I do and sharing my talents with other people and then using that, you know, channeling it through me for the causes that I believe in. Yeah, beautiful. It sounds like your why has finally become big enough, yeah, exactly. clear enough. So you have that courage and clarity to take the steps that are necessary. Yeah. And, and you mentioned a couple of times also about the, the product and the investment. I can imagine that it m might be challenging uh, back then to get the investment for this new adventure. Yeah. How did that go? Now, that was a bumpy ride. And that in itself was my first real trial to see how determined I was whether this was just a oh I'm excited about something which would prick immediately because of course I didn't have the money I didn't have anything like that so I set about first of all you know family then friends etc and it was very much an eye-opener as well because people were not so much saying yes here you have it it was they were saying oh but are you sure this is a good idea this sounds too good to be true and I'm a bit like hey I'm not asking you to check what I want to do or to judge it, etc. All I'm saying is, do you trust me? Are you prepared to lend me whatever? So that in itself was already asking. I've never asked. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and you know, people around me, very close, all of them basically, to be very honest, not one person said, yeah, Julie, great idea, go for it. They were all like, oh, but, you know, we want to protect you and we don't want you to get bamboozled or whatsoever. And I was thinking, gosh, you know, who do they think I am? I have done my due diligence. I, I felt like they thought I was silly or something. So basically, in the end, the bank, of course, said no, which is no surprise, seen the the big variations in my bank uh, accounts. So I, I did. I borrowed. I borrowed off friends and off family. I also then emptied every single pot that I had, as in uh, everything that I'd put aside. But I wanted to make it work. And I didn't want to start with the minimum investment. I thought, you know, if you're going in, you go in. And I've never regretted it. Not one second of fear. I know this is the investment. And it's also forcing me, right, to really make it work. You know, people are looking at me. It's not just about giving them their money back. Even if this were not to work, you know, I would get their money back anyway. I'm a very resourceful person. I'd find another job somewhere else, etc. I've done that countless times before. But I also wanted to, to push me to really stick my course instead of jumping and then, you know, two months deciding something else was the best thing and going for it. In this way, I have committed myself to the long term. I have committed myself to see it through 
till success. And that has been very important for me. And also, I want to inspire other women to do the same. I want to inspire other women to also say, you know what, I've been holding myself small for a long time. Yes, I can earn and I can earn a lot more than counting your cents in your purse at the end of every month. You know, other people can do it. So why can't we, especially if it's in an aligned way with something that we truly do believe is serving the world? Yeah, beautiful. So you completely committed. <laughs> I committed. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Also yeah. wondering, uh, because of my video background, I can imagine people who watch this or listen to this, if you can relate to anything what uh, Julie has uh, shared, let us know in, in the comments, because we are also curious on your view or experience or anything you want to share about this topic, because it is an important topic. And still in, in, in 2023, almost 2024, there is not much openness about real money issues or, you know, the whole topic. It's still kind of mysterious and when yeah. you're amongst friends you talk about it but no one really shares what's been happening in their bank account or all those things so true i think it's good to to be more open about the topic and also the struggles and, and the opportunities and the successes of course yeah so that was my 2023 right Ooh. yeah so what I'm also curious, Julie, is how does this new adventure tie into your fabulous app, The 50, the podcast, the channel, the coaching, the editing, all that you offer? Have you thought about that? I have indeed, because we're not talking at all about this business becoming my only business. I actually believe it ties in perfectly well because the whole thing I do, you know, with the fabulous after 50, the coaching, the editing, it's all about being heard. It's all about putting ourselves out there, right? Saying the words, whether it's me literally writing and editing and helping them use the right words or whether it's the coaching side of Step Up. This actually is the missing link. It's because everything that I've always done has been who I am, learning to step up, learning to say stuff, learning to say who we are, what we want to do and grow into being all of who we are. But the missing bit was there is no freedom full stop without the financial freedom. That's just a society that we live in. Finance is our means of exchange. And if we want to grow, we need that finance in order to help us grow and live our life to the fullest and not live in scarcity, you know, because then we're in scarcity and in fear for everything else that we do. The money mindset does, you know, open out onto the rest. It's do you believe in abundance full stop? or not. And so from that point of view, it ties in beautifully with the uh, Fabulous After 50. I already talk about health and wellness here. I'm actually saying, well, you know, we talk a lot about what we eat. We talk a lot about, you know, chemicals or cleaning our vegetables or all that sort of stuff. And we talk about not drinking or not drinking too much. But do we talk about the water? We are 70% water. I believe water is the missing factor in our search for ideal health. And we don't talk about the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it does tie in. It ties in perfectly. So that's my wave for 2024 is to, you know, better hydrate the planet and inspire more people to look at the water side of health and wellness and to inspire other women, in particular women in my Fabulous After 50 tribe, to step up, not just by being heard and being out there, but also by really going for the wealth that they need in order to live that life of abundance for themselves and, and for the world. Beautiful. Final question. And I think then we have to wrap up. I, I guess we could talk easily for an hour, but we, we also could. want to respect the time of our viewers and listeners. Um, if people want to learn more about this amazing product, where should they go or what's the best next step they can take? I mean, the best thing would be for, for anything to do with, with being fabulous after 50, including growing out of your old scarcity mindset and going for this, is to basically uh, email me at kennedy at the kennedy connection com or contact me on Instagram, Julie's Fabulous After 50, or LinkedIn, Julie A. Kennedy. Any way you want. I'm always delighted to talk about it. I can share a free you know, webinar where you can just find out a little bit more with the idea of let's open doors and see what would work for us. So any of those ways. And to follow up with what you also say to me always, Idelma, I would also encourage people who listen to the podcast and to the YouTube channel to indeed leave a review because the more people who listen, the more people can be inspired and can be helped and the better the world becomes. 
Yeah, absolutely true. I always say to Julie, the interviews and the podcast, there's so much gold in there and so many more people should listen to your podcast. So if you are a listener or if you watch, please subscribe and make sure to leave this review because you can help Julie to spread her message even more and, and reach more people uh, worldwide. And I think that's really important. So it's been a pleasure, Julie. Thank you. Thank you for having offered to, to, to interview me on all of this. And I did want to ask you also about your goals, but we have run out of time. But for anybody who also wants to look more at the social media side, as in how do you actually do it? I would say look at your YouTube channel. Idelma Delmar. It's Idelma Delmar. Funny. It is a treasure trove of uh, tips and things that you can use for your business. And she also runs amazing workshops, whether it's about using video, YouTube, whatsoever. Thank you, Idelma. I wish you a spectacular 2024. And for the rest of you out there, thank you for having been with me this year. Let's together unite and make 2024 an absolutely amazing year of abundance.